The chair recognizes Dr. Oliverson for a motion. The following resolution, the clerk will read the resolution. H.R. 45 by Oliverson, recognizing the Ibn Sina Foundation for its work in the greater Houston area. The chair recognizes Dr. Oliverson to explain the resolution. I'd like to welcome the Ibn Sina Foundation to the Capitol today. This organization is the second largest provider of charity health care in the Houston area and is making a tremendous difference by providing low-cost preventive and primary health care to residents in need. I want to specifically uh, recognize uh, Mr. Nasiruddin Rupani, who is the CEO, chairman, and founder of the Ibn Sina Foundation. It was formed by a group of local physicians and professionals to help meet health care needs of a rapidly expanding population of underserved families. Started with one clinic and one part-time employee in 2001, but today Ibn Sina has more than 90 staff members, seven community clinics in the Harris, Fort Bend, Jefferson counties, and has had over 1 million patient visits to date. And I would also point out that they offer, in addition to primary care, they offer mental health services, children's services, prenatal services, and are in the process of opening a, a center for low-cost surgical services uh, in the Southwest Houston area. And finally, to point out, over 70% of their patients are routine customers, meaning that they come to the Ibn Sina Foundation, they get care, and they love the care, and they love their doctors so much that they keep coming back. So. We want to honor you and welcome to your capital today. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Chair recognizes Dr. Lalani. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I'll take a moment to welcome uh, our Ibn Sina, Chairman Rupani, the board, and all the staff and good people doing the good work. You know, in Texas, we have the world's largest medical center. It's not the U.S., but the world's largest. And who's who of the world can fly in and get the treatment because of our world-class treatment. But our own people cannot cross the street and get the treatment. And this Ibn Sina is bridging that gap, providing that accessibility and affordability so they can get the care in time. So welcome to Texas Capital. Welcome to your capital. And looking forward to many work, things to do together. Thank you. Chair recognizes Mr. Bojani. Thank you, Mr. Speaker and members. I'm proud to welcome the members of the Ibn Sina Foundation to the Texas House. Hello, members of the Ibn Sina Foundation. Welcome to your Texas House. Uh, Ibn Sina Foundation's humble beginnings are of extra extraordinary measures for low-income and indigent families who have no access to health care and cannot afford expensive health-related services. The Ibn Sina Foundation was established in 2001 by a group of local healthcare professionals and its current chairman, Nasruddin Rupani, who had the vision to provide healthcare services to a rapidly growing population of Texas families in need. Today, the foundation has served over one million patients and is the number one charity service provider in the entire Harris County. As it stands now, Texas, Texas ranks 33rd in the mental health care in the nation. But as Texans, we strive to be the very best. That's why I'm so grateful for the work Ibn Sina does. The foundation is a model for the better service and providing the services to all Texans. Thank you all for coming today, and thank you for all the hard work that you do. Chair recognizes Dr. Oliverson to close on the resolution. Move adoption. The question occurs on the adoption of the resolution. Is there objection? The chair hears none, and the resolution is adopted. Mr. Reynolds moves to have all members' names added. Is there objection? The chair hears none, so ordered.